welcome everyone to another recording for my youtube channel so today we're going to go through local port forwarding with ligolo ng which uh, this is a new feature that was introduced uh, with this very nice tool which is very useful for both oscp and oscp and and for ethical hacking as well when you want to pivot from one machine to another but now they've introduced a feature to do local port forwarding which again is very useful when for example you find uh you 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 get into you pawn a machine and you find that there's a local uh there's this there's, there's a service running locally and and so that you for you to enumerate then you can do a local port forwarding to that machine and then run your enumeration from your kali machine so i'll jump in straight into it and quickly demo this new feature all right so we'll get right into it so as usual i'm going to use my game of active directory setup to sh demonstrate this i'll just show that up uh, this is the machine that we are using for this i'll just pull that up So this is a, a a Windows server where we've set up the. It's got a. It's got a. It's, it's running a web server, uh, locally on 127.0.0.1, so localhost. So I'll just show that. Uh, we go to init manager, which is that. And if we look at this site's default website, and we look at bindings. We can see that it's running on 127.0.01. Uh, so if I close that, close that. If I try and get into that on localhost, so oh, so that's local. You see, it's running that. So I'm actually gonna put in a new uh, 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 demo um, web page. Just to demonstrate that, so just to enumerate, to, so, sorry, just to show a sample of what we'll probably be looking for in a real, real engagement. So I'll copy a file here. Uh, this is in here. Users, it's in the desktop. So, so this file here, I'll copy it into the into this folder. And if we try and get into to that refresh, you see this is the page that we got there. So basically, what we're trying to do is from our Kali machine, once we get into this server, uh, exploit this server, then we want to be able to enumerate this, like using GoBuster and and things like that, to sort of see whether there's any way we can prevesc via this path, or maybe log in with admin admin get some credentials for admin and it's basically try and prevesc all right so i'll put that aside for now so i'll quickly create an exploit that we'll will will use to do our proof of concept so i'll use ms venom that will copy back to this machine i will do it on port 443 so create that I'll just uh, upload this to this machine. I'll save the file first. So. Uh, 
All right, so that's uploaded to this machine. So if I do an LS, you'll see the file there. We've got antivirus off just for this demonstration. I'm gonna run a Metasploit. So I'll just split this screen into two. Oh, actually, not that way. And I'll run a uh, Metasploit. Uh, Yep, that's the right one. Give it a few minutes. So that's ready to receive our exploit and if we run our exploit here we see that we get our metapreter shell so basically we're trying to demonstrate that we've gotten into the machine and also just to confirm that while we enumerated this machine if we did a so the ip of the machine is 10.2.10.222 and if we do an nmap to that machine Just want to confirm to you that we don't have port 80 open if we try to enumerate and I'll, I'll also show it through a web browser so because if we had port 80 open then if i went to 10.2.10 .2 then we'll be able to see the web page but again i'll just quickly show here that the nmap you'll see from the nmap scan we don't have any port 80 here right all right cool so we'll get into the shell here so session session and then shell all right so just to confirm that we actually uh, can enumerate that there's a local ho there's a web server running on local host if we do a net start so we can either use winpeace or we can do a quick net start just for demonstration so if i go net start and then fine Ah, spelling mistake. We can see that there's something running on port 80. So what we're trying to see is, okay, what is running on port 80? Because this is something of interest and we want to find out and enumerate what is actually running. And to do that, then we need to set up Ligolo ng port forwarding. So to do that, we're going to upload the... the, the there's two ways to do it. There's actually, sorry, one way. So first we need to So we need to upload this agent to this to the Windows machine and then we will need to run this proxy on this machine and then run one command to do the port forwarding. So I'll upload this agent, so I'll save this file from here. And I'll go PowerShell here. And it 
int dot exe minus r file all right so that's uploaded there so give it a second and if you do an ls so this file is here so stop this so we set up we start with the command to set up the on our Kali, which is that. Okay. Foxy. Oh, it's that well. So we start that there. Then we're going to start the listener as well with this command and point it to our machine. Copy that. Actually, before we do that, we're going to set up this uh, two commands here. I'll just uh, split horizontally. And this other one, just to set up the, the Ligolo interface. All right, I'll just close that. I'll just leave it open. Anyway, so now we run this command here on our Windows machine. And you should see that it should connect on this other side. Yep, so agent joined. And if I do sessions, Yeah, so it looks like it's connected to this machine. So to actually do just a local porting, it's a very straightforward one one line command, which we add here. This is the only command that you need to do. If you are if you are pivot, pivoting from this machine to another, then you'd be you'd be directing it to that network. But this is for the local port forwarding. Just a simple one line command. Uh, probably sudo. This is my first time setting this up for local port forwarding, so hopefully it works. So I've done that, and if we go here and use one, choose one, and let's see if we do if config. We see now it should be able to be going to this and if we try and access this from our machine let's see if we can go just troubleshoot this for a minute well okay I figured out what the issue was so once you do you, you you do the sessions and you click on start then and create this IP route to this 240.0.0.1 slash 32 so for you to be able to access that now you actually access it through this 240.0.0.1 so if I go here into my web browser and do uh, HTTP 240 
dot one then it you you able to access that web page which is running locally on that machine and if we want to do an nmap scan to that then we can probably do and we'll probably see that there's port 80 running And here we should see that there's port 80 open. Just a few minutes. There you go, it's port 80. And then we can now use our normal enumeration on that port 80 and interact with that as if we are connecting via the local host. So it's very useful in this case and it's much simpler than the other tools like Gcell and using proxy chains and all that. So just to recap, so once you get into the machine, you upload the agent.exe from Ligolo. I'm gonna put the link at the description. And then second thing is so first things first, you, you run the proxy here on the, to open up uh, Ligolo, which is this command here. That's the first thing you do. Then you run the agent. It will connect to this, which is joined here. Then you will type in session and you'll pick up session one. Then you, if you want to do an if, if config just to see, you do that. Uh, then you click on start. That's it. And then you just run this one line command to to add the route to that which is the which is this command uh, this one liner and that's it and then you should be able to access the device the the, the web page on this particular ip 240.0.0.1 so that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I'll put uh, the link to the Gligolo on my description. If you've got any questions, I'll put my contact details as well. And that's pretty much it. Uh, this is pretty much one of the most important tool, tool for, for pivoting for pivoting during your exams or whenever you're doing a pen test. So feel free again to reach out if there's any questions. Thanks.